So the next one is Les Articles Contracte. So do you remember these? For masculine singular, it is O or A L apostrophe. If it begins with a vowel, du or the L apostrophe. If it be begins with a vowel or a H mute. The feminine singular form is A LA or A L apostrophe. Again, if it begins with a vowel or H and the LA or D E L apostrophe. And finally, the plural form is O or DE. O is formed with plus LE. A, DE, you can write it as just DE. A with LE, you can write it as O. So this is how you write the plural form. And Finally, another important thing that we learnt is le pronoun. Le pronoun. So this is the most basic thing that we learnt. This is just a reminder. So what were le pronoun sujet? The subject pronouns. They were. Je, tu, il, elle, nous, vous, il, and elle. See, so these are the subject pronouns. Le pronoun sujet. So, you must be thorough by, with this by now. But this is just a reminder. These are called le pronoun sujet, the subject pronouns. So do you remember what are the other pronouns we learnt? So now I will just remind you, this is like a recap, to see what are the other pronouns we learnt. So the other pronouns are the complement of the direct object. So to replace a direct object, we used the pronouns like me, the, s, l, la, l apostrophe, nu, vu, or le. And you know which pronoun to use in which sentence. The next one is the complement of the indirect object. These are me, the, Louis, nous, vous, le. And these also, you know which one to use in which sentence. The next one is the complement, the lieu, the complement of place. So to indicate a place, we use the pronoun y. It's pronounced e. Le pronoun tonique. So the pronoun Tonic, I'm sure you remember that. This moi, toi, lui, elle, nous, vous, a, elle. So these are the pronouns that we learned. So I'm sure you remember all these and you know which pronoun to use in which case. And also for the particular pronoun sujet for that particular subject or for that particular object which of these pronouns would be suitable so now that you know the pronouns the adjectives and we have learned a lot of new words nouns you know the pronoun sujet the pronoun tonic so you can try to write not just sentences but even a paragraph so all you have to do is write, form the sentence in your language, in English, and then just translate. So you will be able to translate because you know the words, you know the nouns, plus you know the pronouns and the adjectives that you need to use for that particular sentence. 
the basic skills of any language are listening, speaking, reading and writing. And now you are quite well versed in listening, speaking, reading and writing in French. If you are not thorough, you can go back and watch the videos. The key to mastering a language is practice. So keep practicing French. I hope you all enjoyed this class along with me where, we, where I took you on a journey of French grammar, composition, etc. So now you have developed your skills in a new language. So please do share it with your friends and for more such content, subscribe to Pebbles channel.